Okay, when it comes to boiler safety, we owe a lot to last week's hero, Sir William Fairburn, who invented the Fairburn crane. Now, he was really ahead of his time and a genius with regards to structural steel and metal fatigue. So, early on in the boiler world, the early boilers blew up fairly regularly. Now, part of it was to do to poor construction and not so much out of um, negligence, but more out of ignorance. They just, they didn't know what they were doing yet. They didn't have the experience. So the British government asked Fairburn to look into these boiler explosions. So he began looking into this and he used glass cylinders and he discovered that the hoop stress in the cylinder was double that of the longitudinal stress. Now what is hoop stress? Okay, so actually hoop stress is none of those, but I'll use this very simple cylinder to explain what it is. So we have a cylinder, hello Greenville College Volleyball Panthers. All right, so this is a cylinder and hoop stress is the stress that is imparted on the walls from the inside out. So in this case, that's the steam force pressure against the outside walls of the cylinder. Longitudinal stress is uh, the, the stress that is imparted on the ends. Now, this is open, but in a boiler, you would have sealed ends on this thing. And it's the force that's applied on the ends. So remember, the hoop stress, Fairburn discovered, is twice that of the longitudinal stress. So they were now able to construct boilers safer. They were able to handle the hoop stresses that steam pressure would put on that cylinder. Also, uh, a new design came about where instead of using one big cylinder, they used smaller multiple cylinders that were stronger and able to handle the pressure. So, hoop stress is not me dunking over someone, it is the force being applied on the outside of the cylinder. Now you know, thanks for joining us on Steam Culture. Hope that was something new for you. Come find us on social media because we're everywhere. We got the great content for you. I'll see you next week. Come here, you little turd.